Bluebeam PDF Review CAD Edition now includes an integration to Autodesk's Revit. Here we're showing the plugin in Revit Structure 2010. Now to get to the Bluebeam plugin, choose the Add-ins ribbon and you'll see the familiar Bluebeam buttons like you see in the AutoCAD plugin in the Office plugins. There's the Create PDF button, which by pressing this you'll get the familiar File Save As dialog. Or, most likely what you're probably going to want to do is choose the Change Settings button, because this is where you have the control over precisely what to make out of the, uh, what, what uh, sheets to make out of the, the PDF file. Now one thing I wanted to mention before we get into this too is that uh, this will make PDFs of the sheets and views uh, the 3D data currently will not be transferred into the PDF, creating a 3D PDF file. However, if you have a view, uh, a three-dimensional rendered view, it will make a snapshot of that include the, and include that on a page in the uh, resulting PDF files. Now, the what to plot area is where you can control what precisely, what sheets you're going to get out of the, uh, the Revit project. By default, the what to plot set to current view or sheet, it will make a one-page PDF. You have the option to include any child views as separate pages of the PDFs appended after that first page, include, which will have the, uh, the current viewer sheet on it. You also have the option to choose all sheets, so every single sheet that's in a particular Revit project file will be created as a separate uh, page of one PDF. Or you have the selected view sheets, and here's where you have a lot of control over precisely what you, which sheets you can get out of the Revit project. So I'm going to select this. The Sheet Set dialog lets you choose specifically which sheets you'd like to include in the resulting PDF file. By default, none are shown here. Now I can go in the bottom here, can choose to have specific uh, sheet groups. So here there's one sheet in there, uh, the area plan, there's no area plans, there's four ceiling plans. So I can successfully check all of these on, or I can check all. and I see here, okay, these are all the options I have. Now once I've chosen those groups, I can go pick individual sheets that I'd like to appear in the in the PDF. And by checking in the, the, uh, the panel here, this is where it's going to control how many pages of the PDF I'm going to get out. So page one is going to be uh, sheet A101, page two will be ce ceiling plan level one, three will be uh, ceiling plan level two and so on. Now I can check all, have everything show, or I can, like I was doing before, selectively check uh, the individual sheets. Another thing I can do is say I want to reorder the uh, how the pages occur. So right now it's going to, the resulting PDF is going to be in the order of the checks that I have here. But at any point I can say, uh, let me go pick this and uh, uh, actually, let me move. This is a handy little feature, too. I clicked on the little uh, uh, button there. I have the option to sort alphabetically, sort by view type, or move all the checked items to the top. So now all of the, the sheets that are about to get plotted will appear in the, uh, the top here. But this is where now I can go say, okay, say I want that elevation south sheet to be on page two. So I'm going to hit the up arrow to get that there. And then say I want ceiling plan level one for whatever reason to be down here at the bottom. So you can go use these up and down arrows to reorder how the uh, the resulting PDFs are going to come out. And this can be quite tedious if you have a, a project file that has a lot of sheets in it. You may want to just have to do this once. So we give it the option to by pressing, actually let me do save as here. I'm going to choose uh, BB project 2 so now uh, if I go out of Revit and come back in the next time I, uh, I bring this back in uh, I can you know let me go back to my default go back into BB project 2 uh, those will uh, appear uh, in the order that I uh, that I organized them before okay so now that I've done that let me go ahead I've been doing a lot of talking here let me go create that PDF file and this is going to be using the the native settings within uh, however I however I configured that I'll go show that in a minute but right now it's going to about to process those seven pages and once it's completed the uh, resulting PDF will will uh, be displayed 
and uh, I configured it to open up within review so in a second here conversions done and there is review let's go under our thumbnail view and you can see those those uh, those pages that appeared so that was option one now let me get back into the uh, now there is another option when choosing what to plot all of these settings have everything go into one PDF file however if you choose the one file per view or sheet option everything will one PDF file will get created per uh, sheet within the Revit model so with that checked let me go create file and I'll show you the difference here so when I press create it's going to ask me for a uh, a file name we'll just put that in because now here you have the option to choose in the output file list how um, how these individual PDFs are going to get named so these you'll see that each one of these each line represents a different PDF it shows the example as to where it's going I can choose to use a layout name a page number only uh, I can include the file name so you have a few different options for how to how to make that output file name look as well as you can identify a prefix. One thing I like to show here too is you can use this as sort of a shortcut for creating a, a folder. So let me say project 101 slash. Notice now under the Revit examples there's going to be a directory called project 101 created where all these files will be, cre will, will be stored. And, and then as a suffix I can say like rev, rev a as an example. and then uh, once that is done I can hit the start button and it's going to create all these files so we'll go ahead and and run that real quick and then we'll see that uh, that those files are created and you'll see as the files do get created the color changes from red to green indicating that okay that conversion was completed successfully if uh, if I was writing to a folder where these file names existed already the individual lines if there would would be red to indicate that there's a potential naming conflict there and you're about to overwrite the uh, the names but here everything went well success there and then you can uh, view those those uh, PDFs in, in a review if you want at the end okay now one last thing I'll just mention briefly uh, just because this is a um, a common to the other plugins and so I'm not going to spend much time on it but the idea is that the page setup you can by default all these conversions I was doing was I was basing the conversion the sheet layout information based on the native Revit sheet page setup so if the file was defined if the sheet was defined as ANSI D uh, then the resulting PDF page will be that that same uh, dimension if you want everything to go to a custom layout, say you want to do a half size set or something like that, you could choose uh, 11 by 17 here, have everything fit to page, and when you run the set, when you run those conversions, it'll use this custom setting. Likewise, you could also use the global page setup where you could define uh, a setting that you want to always uh, use. So as an example, we'll go uh, add one called um, uh, Revit default can never can have dashes in the name default I'll just say that so then when you choose that you can define what you what you want that to be so the paper could be let's say 17 by 22 landscape fit to page so all of these settings you can save that and then whenever you want to you know by default be on a native Revit but then if you want all of the the settings to be re this this Revit default setting choose that and then when you go into the general settings and and run your 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 conversions press OK or create file and then the resulting PDF will all have that layout information so that's a brief overview of the Revit plugin. There are other tabs that have similar functionality as in the other plugins, being able to password protect by setting PDF security, transferring bookmarks, and, and so on. All of that functionality, once again, is very similar to the other plugins. And uh, that's a little wrap-up of the, uh, the Revit plugin.